Welcome uh, to everyone. Uh, I'm Marilyn Marsamo and I'm the head at Technopol Health Tech uh, Community. Uh, and it's the largest uh, health tech ecosystem in the Baltics. Uh, just gave a short overview of what has been my past experience. I've been working in uh, government at the Ministry of Social Affairs. I've been also working at a startup in telemedicine. Uh, and previously, I was the head of innovation at Tehnopol. So my background is totally related to health technology and supporting the companies. So this is a short uh, overview. I uh, just wanted to really uh, dig deep and look into uh, what actions we do at the Science and Business Park at Tehnopol. So as you know, we have a large campus uh, behind the Tallinn University of Technology, and we are actually the center of technology-based companies, and we support growth and export for uh, tech companies. Uh, just some numbers here. Uh, at the campus, we have more than 55,000 square meters of office space. We have laboratories, R&D centers. We have more than 5,000 people working at the campus. And as we're close to the university, we have more than 13,000 students and researchers as well. And the services, what we provide is uh, we provide uh, prototyping, so Prototron, uh, we have a startup incubator, which, which is one of the most successful incubators here in Estonia. Uh, then we provide growth and export for SMEs, and we organize different kind of innovation programs for the corporates. And we're founded by the uh, state government, city of Tallinn, and of course, Tallinn University of Technology. Uh, so uh, if I dig in deep more of what we do at the Technopol Health Tech community is that we support the success of health tech. So uh, we are supporting the companies by creating novel solutions, uh, supporting them with any kind of testing, uh, piloting for development projects. So this involves either two or more partners. Uh, we support them with mentoring. Uh, uh, as we have at Technopol, we have more than 104 mentors who we have contracts with. So uh, these are from various fields, either from uh, jurisdiction, uh, from sales, uh, from uh, service design, uh, sales, and so on. Uh, then, of course, uh, we closely collaborate with Enterprise Estonia and embassies. So we provide study visits for the companies and uh, these uh, ecosystem contacts as well. And we uh, collaborate in Estonia, but we also do a lot of collaborations uh, in cross borders. And uh, these seminars and workshops are also one of the actions what we uh, provide. And uh, also for these companies that we have, we support them with capital uh, funding and also access to export uh, markets. So here's just a short overview. Uh, we were named before Connected Health Cluster. Uh, so this was a project funded by Enterprise Estonia, uh, but because we wanted to proceed with the same actions, then we had to do the rebranding uh, to get this funding for further years. And uh, we have been eight years in the health innovation uh, ecosystem. Uh, we have in our uh, pool of uh, collaborators, we have 108 companies and organizations. And within these eight years, we have done 26 joint uh, development projects uh, between companies, hospitals, uh, pharmas, and so on. Uh, here is just a short overview of our uh, companies that we have in our pool. So uh, we have uh, leading universities in Estonia. We have Estonian hospitals. Uh, we have biotech companies, we have health IT companies that support with developments, uh, and then we have uh, mature uh, startups that focus on specific fields. And of course, you can see from the logos that we have international pharma companies who we closely collaborate with. Uh, just to show uh, what kind of collaborations we do between the public and private sector, uh, so currently there's a memorandum of understanding uh, in, uh, uh, written uh, between the National Health Insurance Fund, uh, Ministry of Social Affairs and uh, between the Nepal Health Tech. So uh, the main idea behind that is actually to support private and public uh, uh, collaborations and provide better information between two parties. Uh, then we have a joint project between uh, the National Health Insurance Fund, Ministry of Social Affairs and three different pharma companies that focuses on the lung cancer patient pathway. I added also a link here so you can uh, look up a bit more. 
uh, and we belong to national strategies and support with any kind of a development processes uh, in related to healthcare. Uh, and just some of the success stories to share. Uh, one of the companies uh, called Dermtest uh, provides digital toolbox for skin and wound care. Uh, and they have provided more than 20 million of value through better access and quality. Uh, they operate uh, with more than 75 hospitals and clinics, uh, not only in Estonia, but also in Moldova, Lithuania. And they are also part from uh, German's uh, TIGA fast track uh, service. Uh, then we have Minodoc, who provides telemedicine services, and it's the leading uh, Estonian health teleconsultation platform. And uh, they are also closely collaborating with hospitals and they have a new service line in providing mental health services for the healthcare professionals. And this is offered online, at, but also offline solutions. Uh, then we have a digital headache clinic called Migravention. Uh, and this actually, uh, this idea came out from one of the hackathons. And uh, now in Estonia, they're one of uh, the best companies uh, for the headache uh, related uh, questions. And then we have Triumph Health uh, that focuses on personalized evidence-based mental health game, uh, which is focused on children aged 7 to 14. And at this game, uh, there's a uh, personalized uh, environment that supports uh, kids psychologically uh, and supports their mental health. So uh, this is currently available in Estonian, uh, Finnish and Ukrainian market, and they're also seeking out other markets uh, to closely collaborate with. Uh, and um, just wanted to mention out the, a project called Economy of Wellbeing. Uh, so uh, between the uh, Baltic Sea countries, uh, we're creating a collaborative platform uh, between stakeholders uh, to share best information, best practices, and also policy development. I added also a link here, uh, so you can uh, add your input uh, in creating this uh, future way of uh, healthcare. Uh, and uh, wanted to point out also a project, EU project called uh, Digilung, uh, which uh, is meant for COPD uh, patients and uh, is using uh, AI-powered solutions to transform the landscape of uh, lung uh, disease. And this is in collaboration with uh, other partners in Europe from Belgium, Spain and uh, Greece. So uh, this project has uh, just started. Uh, you can look it up more here. I added also a link here. Uh, and then uh, two companies uh, also wanted to share uh, their overview and what they are looking for uh, from Europe in, in partnerships. So Antigenes is a leading European provider for innovative uh, genetic tests, uh, which are based on uh, polygenic risks uh, for cancer precision prevention. And they're looking for partners for implementation. Uh, these can be medical companies, laboratories, healthcare providers or other telemedicine providers as well. I also provided these links here, uh, so you can take a look at it a little bit later. Uh, and another company uh, is a health IT company called Hazy. Uh, they focus on the software development and they have created this poisoning inf information center, which also uh, works in offline uh, mode. Uh, and you can look up uh, more information uh, from it here. And uh, I think we have uh, reached the end uh, uh, on what we provide here uh, at Estonia. Uh, and uh, we're closely collaborating with uh, Scandinavian countries, uh, other European countries, and all also part of different EU projects like uh, Horizon and Interact.